Hi Virgo, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant signs. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign Virgo, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they speak to you. With that said, if you are a continued subby, you know I love you for it. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share. And if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button before we uh, before we begin please let me bless my deck of cards with all forms of love light peace prosperity and abundance and i pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good so your um before we get into that you're uh, on the 26th of may i am going live with achuta bhava das if you want to be there please check it out um, we're going to be talking about the eclipse and we are also going to be talking about tarot for all signs and what it might mean for you. So your key to the week this week, Virgo, is the justice card. What are you in the throes of making very serious decisions about? What are you considering when it comes to your commitments? At this moment in time, it does appear that you might be considering or looking over a contract of some kind. This could be some sort of paperwork or documentation that has a, not, when I say a very serious implication, that sounds like, oh my gosh, like, you know, it's gonna be awful. Um, but it just looks like you could be looking at something at a really serious depth, because it's like, you know what, once I sign this, once I put my name to it, once I kind of push this out into the world, that's kind of going to be it. So it could be at the moment you're really taking time to consider the decisions that you're making, which is actually a good thing, right? It means that you're doing that thing that Virgos do really well and uh, being really scrupulous about what it is that you're observing, creating or pushing out into the world. For your actions and options this week, you have the Knight of Cups. Where is it that you this week are choosing to be a benefactor? Where is it that you you this week are deciding to be the person that creates the opportunity that brings an offer to somebody and look at this it could be an offer of collaboration <clears throat> excuse me it could be uh, an offer of um yeah it could be an offer of collaboration it could be an, an a job offer as well like so maybe you're creating a position maybe you're creating a job maybe you are wanting to collaborate with someone the knight of cups usually represents a, a, a solid offer or um opportunity that's coming forward. This is in your actions and options. So this is you bringing this into the world. This is you putting something on the table. This is you putting an offer or an opportunity out there. And maybe this week you're just seeing who bites, right? Who comes back? Who says to you, yes, you know what? This is what I need or, or, or I, I have the skill set in order to fulfill this. It's a really interesting card. Um, another thing this suggests as well, for those of you that are single, maybe this week you are proposing. Uh, uh, not single, uh, for those of you that are like, you know, with a long-term partner, this could be the week where you propose. This could be the week where you say to somebody that maybe is in your life, you know what, I actually wanna make us exclusive. I wanna take us to the next level in some way, shape or form. Virgo, this week, if you're in a partnership or in a relationship already, you could be declaring your love to your partner in a very official way in some way, shape or form. That's really nice, actually. Uh, you know, it's, it's nice to make our loved ones feel loved. For your communication and conversations, you have the Four of Pentacles. So for some of you, this is gonna be about loans, uh, you know, applying for credit, looking for funding, building up uh, the savings, maybe looking at what you're doing with your savings, paying attention to what you're doing with your stash pot of money, um, which is great. <clears throat> now, the one thing that I will say to you, this week, um, and it's kind of a good thing because of all the crazy energy that's going on in the in the astrology but this week it looks like you're being very thorough and possibly a little bit rigid in your approach to things I don't actually think that's a bad thing this week though, right? And this is good. So where it is that you're maybe having conversations, it looks like you're pushing for the right answer. You know, it's like I want to know if you're going to stand up with this in some way shape or form uh, for those of you that work for somebody else this week um you could be handed a new set of responsibilities and they look to be either very official or very um you know <sighs> 
yeah, it, it just looks like you're handed a new set of responsibilities this week. And, uh, you know, they might at first be kind of like, oh my gosh, like I, there's nowhere to go with these parameters. But then once you find your stride with it, you're going to be absolutely fine. For those of you that work for yourselves, business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, it looks like you're holding a position on something. You're holding firm on something. So this could be an idea. It could be something that you're wanting to do. It could be, for some of you, you might be putting an application in for money or funding to uh, expand or enhance your business, or you might be finding ways to, um, well, yeah, maybe some of the interactions that you're having with, with employees or, you know, people that you collaborate with or people that you work alongside, there's an idea that you have that you're not up for changing. It's like, you know, everything else is kind of okay, but the core understanding, it looks like you're very sort of set. It has to be this and I'm not budging on it. For your, um, those of you that are retired or no longer working for any reason, your uh, Four of Pentacles is really asking you to pay attention to your physical health and it's also asking you to look at whether you have your ducks in a row on the financial or the material level. When it comes to your money and materials, you got the Ten of Pentacles. For those of you that are looking for applying for loans for a home, uh, getting a mortgage or anything like that, this week you're absolutely assured right which is great just remember that your ruler mercury is gearing up to go retrograde so i mean this would be a really good time actually to get stuff in before that retrograde hits so that kind of works um just expect some sort of delay or turnaround when it comes to that so you know you know the usual rules um when it comes to your money and materials as in specifically your money the Ten of Pentacles is always good money or big money. Because it's coupled with the Four of Pentacles, there is an element here where you are dealing with a bigger or larger financial institution in some way, shape or form. Especially because the Justice card is involved. But your money looks good this week. Especially because it's underneath the Knight of Cups, which suggests that you are in a position to do the things that you need to do in order to create the expansion that you need going forward. Um, when it comes to your physical health and vitality, as a physical health and vitality, this is literally going to be all of the areas that are ruled by your sign. So your digestive system, your intestines, your small intestines. Um, I can't think of anything else that comes to mind off the top of my head, but look after your diet this week, basically. Um, now, outside of that, the Ten of Pentacles standing alone from that suggests that physically you will be feeling quite strong um you know like you you will feel quite fortified and you know if you want to keep that up just make sure that you look after yourself internally as well as externally and then finally for your um home and environment i mean for those of you that are looking to attain a new home going in a new direction when it comes to the home etc this bodes very well for you and i really really like it uh, for your um, love and relations, you have the Magician card, right? So for those of you that are in partnerships and relationships, there is a chance for you to alchemize the, the energy between you, right? There is you guys looking out in a very specific direction and going for the same goal. And this would be a powerful week to dip into your spiritual and manifesting abilities as a couple, as a unit, as a two people becoming one kind of energy. I mean, it's the magician card, right? So your energies, your communications, your heart, all of it has to be on the same wavelength, the same frequency when you put that thought or that um, incepting seed out into the world. <coughs> you know, but this bodes very, very well. Just and in a lot of ways as well, this could be really just good communication between you and your partner and then for those of you that are single if you are meeting someone this week you could be meeting them in a very um official capacity so maybe you have to go somewhere that has a very official sort of feel to it but you could be meeting somebody either on that journey or in that place um you know this to me suggests that it would be at like a bank or a post office or uh, a law house even you know like for those of you that are single you could be meeting somebody that's either very powerful or somebody that's in a position of power now remember mercury is going retrograde uh, next week so what this also suggests 
suggests as well is that you could get a little bit of that trickster energy. So you just wanna make sure that they are who they say they are. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.